Welcome to recording 5000. My computer keeps freezing, so I have to keep restarting it, and it's absolutely delightful. So, <sighs> you could not pay me enough to want that chair, following Sarah Burton's departure, that is. Folk were out there literally expecting reincarnation of Lee McQueen, producing the exact same clothes, exact same fashions, the exact same theatrics of his era in the 90s and early noughts, which does that even shock anyone now? Honestly. Caring, the group that owns Alexander McQueen, that is, appointed Sean McGurr as the creative director, a fairly no-name Irish designer coming over from J.W. Anderson with gorgeous potential. You see, the love of sewing and attention to detail, his own mind, yet desire to continue to build a legacy. And I really hope Caring will just let him do his thing and push Alexander McQueen into waters untamed. At first, I was going to give compliments on Sean McGurr's first show at Alexander McQueen. Then I went to Instagram slash social media to grab a few like behind the scenes, you know, screen grabs, videos, interviews. And I scroll through the comments, as one does, and it was a lot, you know, as I read those comments from internet people, I didn't realize that liking him and his creation was going to be controversial. And to be honest, my anxiety and a number of fun acronyms, I just had to stop reading those comments because I was hyperventilating as I was going through them. And I just quickly retreated back to living under my lovely, lovely rock. I say that as I make a YouTube video. Point being, because I got myself in trouble for defending the designer before, I really wanted to think about this and then life happened and now we're here a month later. Welcome! After that thought, I was going to go full on defense because how dare internet people, how dare? And then the third round of thoughts was a bit more reasonable, I'd say. Stop it. Get help, Linda. Talk about what you want. Fashions. Don't get me wrong. I'm a massive fan of Lee McQueen's work. But let's not pretend his nickname was an unfound terrible or the hooligan of English fashion. And before you say yes, it was because he was a genius of fashion or mentally unwell individual with a raging drug habit slash hobby. And I can relate to the latter. But seeing things from, you know, rather business perspective, Sean McGurr might have been instructed to sort of, you know, be less boring, but do not go full on bonkers bananas. Yet, Caring as a group doesn't always report on all their brands in detail, but in 2023 financial statement, Alexander McQueen gets one sentence saying their sales were fueled by ready to wear. A common seemingly innocent, yet that's very likely code for it's definitely not great, possibly not even good, we need to see growth. Now that said, it also might be just him, his personality, his designer personality, tapping into history of this brand and finding what works. Seeing him talk is sort of, it's very heartwarming to me. He's just, he seems like, you know, a person you'd like to know. I would like to know. He seems like a person I would like to know. I think McQueen is about having a message, you know, in the clothes, um, in the atmosphere, so. I hope uh, I can put a message out there that people respond to. What's your sense of Lee as a designer that you have to kind of... Visceral. He worked in a very immediate way. It was like, it was up doing things, cutting things. It was very charged. You can feel that energy in the clothes, you know? And I think my job was to really bring a new energy to that. How now, Sarah Burton, and I love her work, spent a lot of time perfecting something that McQueen started with her as his right hand and whether she wasn't allowed to be different or she preferred it that way I am almost embarrassed to admit that Burton's McQueen was getting very old for me which is not saying she isn't incredibly talented and skilled and just great because she absolutely is to me it was the same old it wasn't bad it was great but it was the same stuff different rapper it would be bad to expect any designer to try to replicate their predecessor's work just so that people are satisfied. That's mad to begin with, but with each designer, it's their own personalities. And I just loved hearing journal what they had to say about this show. How would you describe this place that we're in right now? It looks like a warehouse, I, I think. 
It reminds me of a McQueen show that I saw in Milano a long time ago. It was the one by Lee, inspired by The Lord of the Flies. It had parachutes all around the venue. And why is this show so important today? It's the first creative director who didn't work directly with Lee. I think that the house stands for something halfway between gothic and beauty, or something disturbing and something beautiful, with a very sharp sense of cut in the clothing. In my opinion, it's a, like a blank canvas. I think he's given us a, a large space with minimal design so he can really create his stamp, because it's a very exciting historical day for him. I'm a huge lover of Lee and his work, and obviously Sarah. It made women feel dangerous, made women feel strong, made women feel comfortable. And I think McQueen has always been that sophisticated punk brand of British sensibility. So I think for me, Sean's gonna bring us into the new wave of that. How Sean McGurr gave them a blank canvas, a fresh new start, how it also reminded them of the first McQueen shows and they loved how modern and wearable the clothes are. And I love that too, fashionable and functional love. Alexander McQueen stands and falls on tailoring. That was Lee McQueen's thing and Sarah Burton followed his suit. Get it? Anyway. What we saw on runway was gorgeous tailoring. Suits, dresses, coats, jackets, everything. Everything was beautifully tailored and fitted. You could absolutely tell the girl went through fashion school, the same fashion school as Lee McQueen actually, and he knows how to sew. And I understand if it were meeting people's standards or expectations, but to be out there on social media saying that he's got no skill in that department is just wild. McGurr also continues the work playing with leather, denim, knit and what the heck type of materials like this car steel dress. This gorgeous embroidered dress has been created as a reference to a cracked iPhone display. Yeah, that was a tragic story actually. Um, cause your cracked, your cracked iPhone screen. I kind of was like, oh, maybe we could make it into a dress or something or a, a T-shirt. So it started with this smashed iPhone, and then um, we developed this embroidery that looks like the, the concept is like a smashed T-shirt or a smashed dress. And everything is connected. It is silhouette. Listen to McGurr himself explaining where he got the reference. And then I was really into this cling film dress. So this uh, idea of compressing the body, um, I thought that felt really modern. You know, this idea of body distortion, simple but slightly fucked up. I'm very to wrap it up, I think Sean McGurr has done a beautiful job and his debut is quite tastefully referencing Lee McQueen's work, but he is firmly paving his own way. He's got depth, style, personality, and is temptingly wearable. Whether his work is or isn't up to standards of those true fans of Ali McQueen and those who really know what he would think about all this, what he would or would not like or do. I set that aside and I'm really excited about all this. I'm here for Sean's success and growth. I'm so very much looking forward to seeing these things in shops. I will definitely try to get a few pieces to come home with me. And I'm sort of already excited about spring summer 2025. I don't know whether it's the novelty for me or it's just that it, this is really resonating with what I like. Could be both. And there you have it. As always, with every content creator, if you'd like to subscribe, you know, if you haven't already, think about that. It could be fun times. Consensual smashing of the like button is also highly encouraged. And you know what? Thanks. Thanks for sticking with me till the end. I know it's not easy and I really appreciate it. And you. You're great. And I'll see you in the next one, potentially. Okay, bye.